what we did with community weaving was we let the cards answer our questions. Look at all these answers here. It was a little bit different, but I have to say that I learned this from Ben in conversations that he would pick a card for the day. So I thought, well, if he could pick a card for the day that was so randomly relevant, I thought, well, let's ask him questions and see what answers we get. It's a Ouija board. The first question I asked was, is what is the key to the pertinence of the method of community weaving? And the answer was... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. He's, oh. your, he's your assistant. What? Balance, structure, and flexibility. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what was the, the reaction for that? I got tingles. I got tingles. <laughs> oh, awesome. That's really amazing. So, so then, then Michael asked it a question. What is a good quality of a leader? And, the answer and so was, I picked the card, and it is invitation. Okay. Oh, my God. As I'm leading, I want to invite people in. All wrong answers. This is super. Out of all the cards. Because you are the master. And so then I. Then it got more complex because the question was. What is the core? What's a core belief of community weaving? And Michael chose. Divergence and convergence. Oh my God! Well, that is a weak. But oh then God. that so wasn't the realized, right answer. To we realized that it wasn't a belief. We asked. We had to tweak the question a little bit. So <laughs> it was <laughs> a little <laughs> feedback. The answer changes the question. Of that it was amazing. And so and so he asked the next question to follow up his leader. What's a good quality of a leader? He says, "What's the quality of a follower?" And the answer was. Good oh, faith man. assumptions. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I tell uh, you, this, this is really this spirited work. I call the work I do spirited work. Thank you, yeah. Peggy Holman's introduction to spirited work. Because this is what it yeah. is, spirited work. So the next question we ask is, how does community weaving ultimately, no. what does community weaving ultimately accomplish? What does it ultimately accomplish? Big question. I went, Ooh. and the answer is. The drum roll, please. <laughs> Discharging. Blocked by frustration, <laughs> anger, hurt, fear, or despair. Wow. We acknowledge and let go of what grips us in order to take out the psychic Shift track. and move on. Shift oh, and move on. Oh, nice. So, discharging. <laughs> wow. Okay. But that really so, had be, because when people show up, they're they're full of trauma. They're they're just absolutely full of the world, the, everything else, and and then it's a nesting place where where people can come in and then feel nice. cradled, and then go through getting rid of all that stuff, and then live into the oh! way of being in the world. <laughs> and so the question, the final question we ask is, what's missing from common culture to allow CW to be more common and prevalent? And the answer is ready. Spooky, 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 spooky. That's not possible. Well, it might be a okay. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Okay. We didn't set the rules before we did this. So, because this was in there. We anticipated, and I interpreted it as, we weren't the one who's supposed to pick the card. Oh, right. <laughs> so could I have <laughs> a volunteer, please? <laughs> oh, Peggy, would you be so kind to come up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, man. So what's missing from common culture to allow CW to be more common and relevant? Yeah, she's channeling. <laughs> Drum roll. And the answer is... Courageous, courageous Mars!